I've got to admit I've always been a skeptic when it comes to diet hype. And the Mediterranean way of eating is not a diet. It's just a healthy way to eat every day. But if you're looking for a real quick fix that can boost your metabolism, help control your weight, improve your heart health, add some energy to your day, put you in a better mood, and help you stay on a healthy track, all in a super budget-friendly way, then you're in the right place. I know it might sound like clickbait, but there is actually one answer that delivers on all these promises, and it's breakfast. I did a lot of homework on this one, and I was surprised to learn that breakfast really can do all these things. In this video, I'll share seven solid reasons why the experts say breakfast is the most important meal of the day. And then we'll talk about how to create a balanced breakfast to make sure it will live up to this hype. And I'll share a bunch of simple, budget-friendly breakfast ideas to try. Before we talk about how to create the right balance for a healthy breakfast, I want to explain what I meant in those big opening claims. Why a healthy breakfast is so darn good for you, and why I think of it as the only true quick fix diet trick. Number one, boost metabolism. Eating a healthy breakfast can really help kickstart your metabolism for the day, and that means you will burn more calories throughout the day. Easy starters like overnight oats with fruit and nuts, or Greek yogurt with berries and honey ensures your body is ready to roll. Number two, provides energy. Breakfast provides the energy you need to power through the morning and get a lot more done throughout the day. Some of my favorite ways to start the day are a classic Spanish starter of whole grain toast with tomato and avocado, or a smoothie packed with zucchini, banana, and almond butter. Number three, improves concentration and focus. When I'm planning to do any brain work in the morning, breakfast is pretty much an essential. And research shows it can improve things I always need a little help with anyway, like memory, attention, and focus. So I take a few minutes to enjoy the start of the day with a little scramble and veggies, or almond butter on whole grain toast, and some apple slices, knowing it's going to pay off later. Number four, helps control weight. If I don't have a little breakfast to start my day, it's pretty much of a sure thing I'll be making up for later by overeating. So a little whole grain cereal with low-fat milk and fruit, or a whole wheat English muffin with cashew butter and banana, is all it takes to keep my appetite balanced for the rest of the day, too. Number five, improves heart health. I wasn't exaggerating when I said a healthy breakfast can lower the risk of heart disease by reducing blood pressure and cholesterol levels. There's lots of breakfast ingredients high in antioxidants like blueberries, raspberries, and apples, and healthy fats like olive oil and avocados that help make it happen. A fun switch up is slathering some non-fat or low-fat yogurt on whole grain toast and topping it with avocado slices and honey, or a healthy egg white feta cheese and spinach McMuffin. Number six, boost your morning mood. I'm one of those people who get pretty hangry when I haven't had breakfast, and that's no way to start the day. There's lots of research that shows eating a healthy breakfast can help stabilize blood sugar levels and improve your overall mood. It's why I call a healthy breakfast my first happy meal of the day. Whether I'm enjoying a Greek yogurt parfait layered with fresh fruit and muesli, or a poached egg on toast with a dollop of citrus pistachio pesto on top. Number seven, essential nutrients. Breakfast is a great opportunity to start the day by already getting some important nutrients like fiber, calcium, and protein in your diet. And this one leads us right into those four parts I mentioned we'd cover so that you're covered with enough ammunition to do your own mix and match power breakfast plate. If you've seen any of my Mediterranean diet videos, you know I love to use a plate or a bowl to show you how I balance my meals. And that goes for breakfast too. If it's going to deliver on all those promises I mentioned, then it needs to have some protein, some complex carbs, and some good-for-you fats. Plus, it's the perfect opportunity to get in some super important nutrients like calcium, potassium, and fiber. I'm not one to count calories or measure out macros. The more complicated you make it, the less likely you'll stick with it. So what does a good breakfast look like on a plate? It's simple. Just try to choose whole unprocessed foods from each of the five food groups proteins, fruits, veggies, whole grains, and good-for-you fats. Let's start with protein, since many people don't get enough of it in the morning. You can have eggs or egg whites if you're watching your cholesterol levels, unsweetened yogurt, cheese, nuts and seeds, or even beans. To get enough complex carbs, just grab a piece of fiber-rich whole fruit instead of juice, or stuff some veggies into a breakfast burrito. 
long-lasting, slow-burning carbs from whole grains like oatmeal, plain shredded wheat, and whole grain breads keep you feeling fuller longer. And finally, healthy fats. They're easy to add when you include avocado, extra virgin olive oil, smoked salmon, a sprinkle of chia seeds, or my personal almost every single day favorite, homemade nut butters. And in my Eat This Not That video, I showed a few things we should take off the breakfast plate, like sugar-loaded box cereals, energy bars, packaged granolas, high-calorie sweetened coffee creamers, carb-heavy pastries and donuts stripped of all their fiber, and classic breakfast meats like sausage and bacon that might taste great but come at a price of adding lots of unhealthy saturated fat to your diet. The other problem with these types of foods is that you might gain a very short-term sugar boost, but before the morning's over, you'll come crashing down looking for something else to boost your energy, and you'll repeat that unhealthy cycle all day long. Finally, let's address that, but I'm not a morning person thing. Well, there's a few ways to get around this. You can do what most Spanish people do, have two breakfasts. They call a little something like a piece of fruit and coffee to get you going before you head out the door, a desayuno. And a little something like a toasted baguette with avocado and tomato served between 10 and 11 in the morning is known as an almuerda. Another great option is to prepare breakfast the night before. You save time in the morning and still start the day with a healthy meal ready to go. And if you know this is you, then try overnight oats, chia seed pudding, breakfast burritos, or cold frittatas. So do yourself a big healthy favor. Don't skip breakfast, just make it fit what's right for you. And if you're looking for more ideas of what healthy breakfasts you might want to try, then click on this playlist right now.